Hey there and welcome to this Nexus RSS video. This is going to be a short video just so I can show you how easy it is to set up and configure your Nexus RSS plugin. Basically you just upload the plugin like any other plugin and activate it. Click on Nexus RSS in the sidebar and you'll come to this screen. First thing you need to do is scroll down, put your license in, validate license. You can see I've already done that. And then we can look at the settings. Now the first thing you can do is you can actually change the feed name. You, I'm just going to call it Travel Feed this is a travel blog and when you save it it'll change the URL and you'll be able to click and see the feed. Include pages. You put a check in this box it means that your pages on your blog will be included in this RSS feed. This is very useful if you have some sales pages that you create on page and not post but also if you want to exclude any pages so for instance obviously you don't really want your sitemap or any of your legal pages like a disclaimer you just need to put the ID number of the page and it'll exclude that one so you can basically include all your pages then exclude the ones you don't want. This example, I'm going to uncheck that. I'm not going to do that. Now the categories, this is very important. If you leave it as default with no checks in the boxes, it's going to take posts from all of your categories and include them in the random feed. However, should you want to exclude any of the categories, for instance, if I didn't want cruise vacations to appear, you just put a check in the box and that means that no posts in the cruise vacations category will appear there. This is really useful if you have a blog where you have a lot of ordinary content and then maybe you have a category that is full of product pages because you can exclude the ordinary content and just leave your product pages in the RSS feed. I do this a lot on my eBay sites and it works absolutely amazingly because it basically gives you a feed of product pages. But that is basically how you exclude categories and that's all there is to the plugin. I'll leave Cruise Vacations excluded. You scroll down, you just click on Save Settings. And once you've saved your settings, all you need to do is click on the link and there's your feed. And if we refresh it, you'll notice You'll notice that all the posts have changed. Fresh it once more, you can see it again, and so on. And this is the real power of this plugin. So wherever you submit this feed, that site is going to see this feed as continually being updated. And that's all there is to it, to setting up Nexus RSS. Thank you for your time. Take care.